From the station that's always local, always now, this is Fox 19 Now. So only on Fox 19 Now, the State Auditor's Office Special Investigations Unit has now launched an investigation into the Cincinnati Charter School Collaborative by operating, or the operating company rather, that was terminated last month by Don Community High School. So the State's Auditor Office Special Investigations Unit, so a lot I know, is tasked with investigating allegations of misuse public money, taxpayer money fraud and corruption. Brittany Harry is live at Don's main campus now with those concerns over the alleged misuse of funds. Brittany. Yes, yeah, so the investigation of the collaborative follows a complaint that was filed by the state by Don's own sponsoring foundation, that is the Buckeye Community Hope Foundation. Now, allegations from the foundation include claims of misuse of public and taxpayer money and academic fraud. The Cincinnati Charter School Collaborative is a company that, up until its firing, managed the school's operations, and now it's under investigation. Buckeye Community Hope Foundation's complaint says it's, quote, very concerned about Don Community High School's outrageous spending level in fiscal year 24, where the foundation alleges 4.2 million taxpayer dollars are at stake. The foundation claims Don usually carries a significant cash balance at the end of each fiscal year, but 2023 into 2024 have been, quote, fiscally vastly different from previous years. The foundation alleges in part Don spent approximately $400,000 on buses that did not meet transportation laws and are now sitting idle and cannot be used or sold. Earlier this year, the complaint alleges Don stopped paying a vendor the school was using to provide online curriculum, resulting in more than $381,000 being owed. The complaint says that because the vendor stopped providing its curriculum when its bills were not paid, some students may have been awarded credits to graduate that, quote, are not valid or they did not earn. The complaint claims the foundation asked the board about spending and was told school buildings were being upgraded. But during a compliance visit, the foundation says the team witnessed no construction or major improvements. The complaint says Don was forced to stop using their location on Reading Road because they, quote, did not and could not make the necessary repairs to bring it up to code. The complaint overall alleges serious financial concerns with the school's revenue and expenses. Don's fund cash balance was roughly $4 million at the end of fiscal year 23, and the predicted balance at the end of fiscal year 24 will be a loss of approximately $200,000. That's according to the complaint. Quote, we just do not know where all this money went when many of the numbers just do not align or make sense with statements and emails provided, the foundation's vice president of education said. So there was a school board meeting that was just held. This complaint did not come up in that meeting, but all of this comes weeks after Don's management company, Cincinnati Charter School Collaborative, and its owner, Ramon Davenport, were abruptly let go by the school board. So we did reach out to Davenport, who tells Fox 19 he's surprised because he wasn't aware of the complaint and said he didn't know the auditor's office launched an investigation. After reviewing a copy of the foundation's complaint, Davenport said everything in it had been addressed throughout the year. We reached out to Don Community High School's attorney, Adam Brown, who says he also wasn't aware of the complaint, but says the school will cooperate with any investigation. The Buckeye Community Hope Foundation's vice president, Jennifer Shure, says, quote, we stand by our communications of what our concerns are. I'm reporting live in Clifton, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 Now.